Word of Exodus chapter 12, verse 31. We learned, we've been learning the past couple of weeks that Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron in the middle of the night. He sent for them in the middle of the night. And the Bible says that he told them, go. Leave here and take all your people with you. La palabra de Dios nos dice que Faraó mandó por Moisés y por Aarón y le dijo, váyanse de aquí y lleva todo tu pueblo contigo. And I want, last week I touched a little bit on this point at the very end, but I wasn't able to get into the depths of what the Lord was trying to say. Y la semana pasada, sí, hablé un poco de lo que quiero hablar ahorita, pero no pude llegar profundo a donde Dios quería hablar. Now I want you to understand something. We learned that God didn't leave us where we were. Hallelujah. Aprendemos que Dios no nos dejó allí a donde estábamos. Come on, somebody. Yes. He didn't leave us in the addiction. He didn't leave us in the heartache. He didn't leave us in the abuse. No nos dejó en la adicción. No nos dejó en el abuso. Y no nos dejó en el sufrimiento. He didn't leave us there, but the Bible says that he took them out. Dios los sacó. And God wants to take you out. Y Dios te quiere sacar. And last week we learned that you have to want to take your way out in order for you to get out. Y la semana pasada escuchamos que te tenemos que querer salir para tomar nuestra salida. Did y'all know that? You have to want to get out to get out. You have to want to get out of the suffering and of sickness, out of the hurt, out of the depression. In order for you to get out, you have to want to get out and say, Lord, take me out. I'm ready to, I'm ready to take my way out. Tienes que decir, Señor, dame mi salida y tomar tu salida. But at the very end of the program, the Lord began to talk about his rest. And al terminar de la programación, Dios empezó a hablar del descanso. See, the reason he wants to take you out is because he wants to give you rest. La razón de cual Dios te quiere sacar en esta noche es porque él te quiere dar descanso. He wants to give you rest from the confusion, rest from the heartache. He wants to bring joy back into your home. He wants to bring peace back into your family. Él quiere traer gozo de nuevo a tu hogar y paz de nuevo a tu familia. The people of God, el pueblo de Dios, estaban cada mañana, despertaban, conociendo que iban a sufrir ese día. Every day the people of God woke up knowing they were going to have to suffer that day. Can you imagine that? Waking up every day knowing that you're going to have to go through it. Despertando cada mañana, conociendo que vas a tener que pasar por la prueba. The Israelites woke up every morning to get ready to go suffer another day. El pueblo de Dios, los israelitas, despertaban cada día, se arreglaban. Conociendo que iban a sufrir otro día. Can you imagine having to get ready, fix your hair, wash your face, to go and suffer another day? Peinarse el pelo, arreglar, para ir y sufrir otro día. That's what the people of God were going through. And maybe that's what you're going through right now. Y quizás eso es lo que estás pasando. You wake up every day and you answer a phone call that you know is going to break your heart. Despiertes cada mañana contestando el teléfono, conociendo que la conversación va a quebrar tu espíritu. You wake up every day knowing that you're going to have to suffer with pain and agony and sickness in your body. Te despiertas cada día, cada mañana, conociendo que vas a tener dolor y sufrimiento y enfermedad en tu cuerpo. 
Maybe you wake up every day knowing this is another day of storms and torment and torture. Levantando cada día conociendo hoy es otro día de tormenta, otro día de dolor, otro día del sufrimiento. Y estás viviendo de esta manera. Y Dios dice hoy esta noche, yo te quiero sacar de este sufrimiento porque te quiero dar descanso. And God is saying, I'm taking you out. And I'm giving you rest. I'm giving you rest. You're going to be able to wake up tomorrow morning and feel what it's like to have peace. You're going to be able to wake up in the morning and feel what it's like to feel healthy and strong. Vas a despertar en la mañana y vas a sentir como se siente sentir en buen salud y tener fuerza you're going to wake up in the morning and remember and, and experience what it's like to have a good marriage again vas a despertar en la mañana y vas a conocer como se siente tener un matrimonio bendecida God is saying I'm taking you out because I want to give you rest estoy sacando que te quiero dar descanso. I want to give you rest. I don't want you to suffer. Ya no quiero que sufres. I'm giving you rest from the turmoil. Rest from the torture and the pain. Rest from the heartache and the abuse. Descanso de la tormenta. Descanso de del, del todo el malo que te han hecho. El descanso del dolor del corazón. El descanso del abuso. See, they woke up every morning knowing what the day would bring. But all of a sudden, God gave them a hope and they would now be able to rest. Despertado en cada mañana, conociendo que hoy va a ser otro día de sufrimiento. Pero este día, se levantaron con esperanza que Dios iba a hacer algo en sus vidas. And I want to let you know right now, God is giving you rest. Rest from the hurt, rest from the pain, rest from the sleepless nights. He is giving you rest. And he's saying, it's time for you to get back in the game. Dios te está dando descanso hoy esta noche y Él está diciendo, Él está dando descanso de la tormenta, del, del peligro, de todo el dolor, del sufrimiento. Y Él está diciendo esta noche, te estoy dando descanso. Métate de nuevo al juego. God is saying, I'm giving you rest to fulfill your purpose. I'm giving you rest to now fulfill your calling. Te estoy dando descanso. Cumple tu promesa. Cumple tu propósito. Cumple tu llamada. Fulfill your purpose. Fulfill your promises. Fulfill the calling upon your life. Start serving in the house of God again. Start doing what you were created to do. Empieza a servir en el reino de Dios. Empieza a hacer lo que Dios te creó hacer. Run the race that God has set before you. Corre la carrera. Te está dando descanso para que puedes correr la carrera. God is giving you rest so you can run the race that he has called you to run. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I know that God is speaking to your heart. You're not going to have to wake up tomorrow in suffering anymore. You're not going to wake up tomorrow in heartache anymore. If you allow him, he will take you out and tomorrow will be a different day. Si lo dejas, mañana despiertas y será un día diferente. You know, sometimes we become so accustomed. Nos acostumbramos. 
We become accustomed and we get used to it and we learn to live day after day with pain and suffering and heartache and being put down and being mistreated and being abused. We've learned and we've accustomed ourselves to wake up every day knowing it's going to be this way and I'm just going to have to deal with it. Y nos acostumbramos a despertar cada mañana conociendo me van a maltratar, me van a abusar, me van a decir cosas que me van a que va a quebrar mi corazón y estamos acostumbrados de de sentir de esta forma, pero Dios dice hoy esta noche, si me dejas darte el descanso, mañana despiertes y todo será diferente. And God says right now, if you allow me to, if you allow me to be your God, if you allow me to be your father, if you allow me to be your help and your healer in your time of need, then tomorrow you will wake up and things will be very different. Tomorrow you will wake up and you'll have a pet back in your step. Tomorrow you'll wake up and things will feel different. The things that used to hurt you won't hurt you anymore. The things that used to hold you back won't hold you back anymore. The things that used to cause you harm won't cause you harm anymore. But God says, will you allow me to give you rest tonight? Pero el Señor dice hoy esta noche, me dejarás darte el descanso que necesitas. The Israelites have lived this way for so many years until one day the Bible says that God heard them. Could tonight be the night God hears you. La palabra de Dios nos dice que los israelitas estaban sufriendo por tantos años. Y la palabra de Dios nos dice que había un día que el Señor escuchó sus llantos. Puede ser hoy esta noche que Dios escucha tu llanto. Could tonight be the very night where God hears your cry. Puede ser hoy esta noche que Dios está escuchando. Él está viendo tus lágrimas. And he's seeing your tears. And he's hearing your cry. And tomorrow, when you wake up. Tomorrow when you wake up, there's no more pain in my bones. There's no more sickness in my body. All the insecurities I felt from what people had said about me no longer exist. Quizás mañana te vas a levantar, despertar, y ya no hay dolor en tus huesos. De repente tienes fuerza en tu cuerpo. Las palabras que causaron tantas inseguridades ya no existen. Mañana puede ser diferente si escoges hoy. Recibir, recibir. El descanso de Dios. Your life can be different when you wake up even tomorrow morning. If you choose right now to receive the rest of God. Come on, who am I talking to? Just say, Lord, I need your rest. And as we just worship him right now, allow his rest to just manifest. Because it's time for you to start running that race. Es tiempo ya que empiezas a correr esa carrera. Yo 
I speak hope into your life. Hoy mismo, declaro esperanza sobre tu vida. Declara esperanza sobre tu hogar. I speak hope and I declare hope into your family, into your home right now. Hope that tomorrow morning you'll wake up and things will be different. Esperanza que mañana vas a despertar y las cosas serán diferentes. Mañana vas a despertar y las cosas ya están cambiados. That tomorrow when you get up, things are already changed. Things are already different. Spouse, the way your spouse looks at you is already different. La manera de cual tu esposo, tu esposa te mira ya es diferente. The way your children talk to you is already changed. La manera de cual tus hijos te hablan ya es diferente. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, the, the amount in your bank account is already different. I speak hope. Come on. Yo hablo, yo declaro esperanza. Come on, would y'all help me say, just speak it right now. Say, I declare hope. I declare hope right now. Yo declaro esperanza, yo declaro esperanza. Oh, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow is a different day. Things are changing. Things are turning around. You sleep good tonight because tomorrow is already going to be different. Descansa, duerme muy bien hoy esta noche porque mañana será diferente. Oh, come on, you're going to sleep good tonight. We're going to sleep good tonight, Melina. Vamos a descansar muy bien hoy esta noche. Porque en la mañanita, because early tomorrow morning, things are going to be different. They are already in the works, and they will be different. So I want y'all to message tomorrow. I want y'all to message tomorrow and say, things were different when I got up this morning. En la mañana, manda un mensaje y di, las cosas estaban diferentes hoy en la mañana. Things were different. I woke up and I wasn't sad anymore. I woke up and I wasn't depressed anymore. I woke up and my feet didn't hurt this morning. It's already happening for you. 